LSU versus Clemson Sugar Bowl. Mm -hmm. It was nearly 60 years ago, but to Harold Olson, it's like yesterday. You could almost see yourself there. As Clemson gets ready to play in the Sugar Bowl. I didn't have butterflies in my stomach. I had uh, buzzards. Memories of the first trip to New Orleans came back to this former offensive tackle. I remember when, when Frank Howard told, came to tell us that we were going to go to the we were, had an invitation to the Sugar Bowl and did we want to go? And he said, you know, those are really bad boys. They're really mean. And there were a lot of teams ahead of us that didn't want to go because they were afraid of them and wondered if we would be afraid too. And of course we said, no, we're not afraid. Olson's parents couldn't make it to the game, sent this telegram instead. The 79 year old has kept it all these years. You can bet we are pulling for the Tigers. Wish we could be there watching. Good luck to you all. Love, mother and dad. There's a scrapbook full of mementos. Tell me about this face. Now, you had to look mean in football. <laughs> that was the meanest face I had. Can you still make it? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, that was, come to think of it, that's pretty hard to do, isn't it? <laughs> I think that was awesome. His blue jersey worn in the game still looking new. Clemson was asked to wear dark colors to stand out on a black and white TV. Purple was harder to come by then. While it was a season to remember. And myself, the right tackle with Coach Howard on our shoulders. The game didn't go Clemson's way. The Tigers fell to LSU 7-0. to We had a lot of success. It just didn't get across the goal line. Now a new team, Sugar Bowl bound, new memories in the making. Mandy Gaither, WYFF News 4 in Clemson.